Episode 7 is finally released. The latest episode was so exciting that we don't even know how this week has passed. But here we are. We already watched the episode and loved every minute of it. In this episode, we finally saw some incidents that we had been waiting for a long time. Today, we're here to talk about what has happened in Episode 7 and discuss it. So without a further ado, let's dive in, shall we? The episode starts with Fatima and Christie's scene. Since this incident is shorter than the others, we can talk about it for the beginning. You may remember that in the latest episode, Fatima asked for a pregnancy test. In this episode, she doesn't seem very happy because the thing is, Fatima was told that she can't have kids earlier. So what do you think has happened? Did the town cure her somehow? Is it possible? We know that Boyd had Parkinson's disease earlier and now he's healthy. But we believe the worms or the spiders cured him somehow. So what happened to Fatima? We don't know yet, but we will eventually. We want to save the most exciting part for the ending, so let's continue with Tabitha and Jim. In this episode, they argue about their experiences. While Tabitha tries to make him believe that the town is not a part of an experiment and the voice could belong to something other than a human being, Jim doesn't seem to agree with her. At this point, they all seem exhausted and they can't even be supportive towards each other. When Tabitha decides to go back in, Jim sees Randall flying his drone. That's the point where unlikely allies come together and decide to ruin the town. Yes, you heard it right. They will ruin the town. It's just a few episodes away and we are curious about it. After having a small and disturbing talk, because a nice talk would be impossible with Randall, they go to get an antenna to keep it high enough with the drone to get a signal again. That's actually pretty clever, but considering that the source of the voice is unknown, it's really dangerous. Anyways, Randall asks Jim if he ever thought that some of the people may be a part of the experiment. Some of the from fans have been thinking about it, and now that a character actually said it, we believe they are more than happy. If this is the case, who do you think is the mole? Could it be someone we haven't seen much in the show? We believe if there's a mole, it could be Dale. He seems too impulsive, so he wouldn't be the best choice. But honestly, he might be the only person who doesn't like the town settlers. So betraying them wouldn't bother him. Anyways, let's see what Tabitha does in this episode. She decides to go see Jade and they share their experiences. Finally, we see people talking about what they have gone through and found out in time. We're saying it once again, they definitely need a meeting or something to talk about every single thing that they were keeping to themselves. In result, they may put the puzzle together and focus on the missing pieces. Who knows? They may even find a way out. Let's go back to Jade and Tabitha. She sees Christopher's journal and the symbols. So she talks about the ones she saw in the tunnels. We wonder for how long she decided to keep this finding to herself. We know she talked to Jim about it, but that doesn't count. She definitely had to talk to Boyd or Donna about the tunnels way before, don't you think? Before talking about the best part of this episode, let's give you the best news. Victor and Ethan are friends again. Well, it seems like sometimes good things happen in their dystopian world, right? Anyways, in this episode, we see them talking about the trees once again. In the last two episodes, we saw Boyd and Victor talking about the fallen leaves and how the trees are different than before. The interesting thing is that we learned the leaves were always the same in this mysterious town, and they have never changed before. That might be a clue that the season is about to change as it does in the outer world, and that's a huge risk for the plants and crops they were depending on. The food shortage might become a greater problem in the future episodes. We'll see. Another thing we know about the trees is that they are moving. We believe the trees will take a huge part in the upcoming episodes. Here comes the best part of episode 7, the autopsy. After sending Ellis, Fatima, and Elgin back to the colony house to keep people away from the clinic, Boyd is left with Marielle, Kenny, and Christy. Let's not forget the smiley monster, too. After a disagreement, the majority of the group wants an autopsy on the monster, and we are glad they decided to do it. They carry the monster with a sheet and poke him with sticks as if they're not about to cut him open. In the autopsy, we see that the monsters have the same anatomy as human beings. The difference is that their internals are shriveled. Christy also says that it's kind of a thing that you see in the museum. In this episode, Jade also talked about his visions in which he saw Civil War soldiers. So do you think that there might be a connection? Are monsters just trapped souls from the Civil War times? 
Anyway, seeing that the monster's internals are just dry as bones, Christy loses it and stabs the monster multiple times and cuts his gallbladder, so we see a liquid coming out of it, meaning that the worms could be in the bile. That being discovered, now they may have a weapon to fight with monsters. Last but not least, something weird happened in this episode. We see Elgin and Marielle seize the music box, but what does that mean? Last time we checked, after Boyd saw the music box, things got intense. And we always believed that he was seeing the music box just because he actually saw it in the dungeon. But Marie and Elgin have never seen it in person. So why do they have visions? What do you think about episode 7? Do you think Boyd will go and hunt the monsters in the upcoming episode? Don't forget to share your theories with us. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and share it with your friends. You can also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. See you soon.